Well well well, it looks like things have gone belly up for the straw bridges doesn't it? Dick and Angel's magnificent property, Chateau de la Motte who son in northwest France is abuzz with scandal and Potimald Angel is like a busy bee, wallpapering over every square inch of the fallout with scraps of second-hand wallpaper. Her hubby, Dick, is currently downstairs banging copper pans together while stuffing his face with a blueberry tart, and trusty builder mate Steve has fallen off the roof. Yes, the word is that Dick and Angel have applied to shut their castle company Chateau de la Motte who son limited. Last month, Channel 4 confirmed it is no longer working with the spirited pair following an independent investigation into their conduct. Sources claimed Two Rivers Media, the company that produces Escape to the Chateau, raised concerns about Dick, 63, and Angel, 45. And they will not be working on any new productions following a review. Since the split, it can be revealed that their company, which was set up in 2017, has been put forward for a voluntary strike-off from the register at company's house. The application was signed on May 9th by both directors, Dick and Angel, real name Angela. First notice of the strike-off was given in the Gazette on May 23rd, and the company will be dissolved within two months of that date. The latest news comes two years after the popular couple first brushed off bullying claims, which they vehemently denied at the time. Now cast adrift on a giant floating igloo with her fingers covered in glue, Angel Strawbridge is sitting cross-legged in a kimono and arranging all of her bits and pieces into alphabetical order and inserting them into their designated compartments inside an origami suitcase. She discovered it in a dusty corner of a local bric-a-brac shop, snapping it up with a bit of loose change, and after she's finished using it, she plans to turn it into a camper van for herself and Dick to live in. The kiddos are content, chowing down on a hand-baked gooseberry roulette at Café Grandma and Dick is stumbling out of the chateau, clutching a half-empty glass of walnut wine, sporting a face full of lemon curd. Noticing the citrusy whiff, Angel quickly sets about capturing the scent to put it in a beeswax candle. With tears rolling down her cheeks, she whips out a chrysanthemum pattern headscarf from the pocket of her dungarees and hides the roots of her flame red hair with it while she peruses their business accounts. Dick launches himself off the grassy bank and onto the floating contraption to join her and he wipes her streaming face dry as they zigzag the moat. However, it soon becomes apparent that they've lost control of their vessel and they have no choice but to jump ship, cursing in union whilst gripping a parachute fashioned from Dick's curdy handkerchief. Still reeling from the shock of the leaked audio in 2021, Angel launches into a foul-mouthed rant at the chateau as she sails past it, calling it a effed-up little sea. The reality stars were originally introduced by their mutual agent at a 40th birthday bash that Angel was hosting. We are not sure how she got anything done at all that evening, to be honest, she was far too preoccupied pasting bits of paraphernalia into a scrapbook so that she could wrap a bauble with it to later hang on a perfectly proportioned hand-picked Christmas tree. Their connection, though, was said to be instantaneous and the red-headed interior designer has since admitted to blushing throughout her brief chat with the former British Army Lieutenant Colonel. Dick, who has also appeared in Coast and Scrap Heap Challenge, apparently couldn't take his eyes off her after she stuck them to her using a tube of craft glue. He said, the first thing I saw when I met Angel, I call her Angela, was her smile. It's phenomenal. We barely spoke that night, but we knew that there was something at first sight. And we fell in love very quickly. Committed to starting a family with Dick, 16 months into their romance, Angel offered up an ultimatum, handing him a calendar with the words, impregnate me by this date, written on it. It seems that Dick smoothed his mustache and rose to the occasion because he beat the target by seven months and the delighted couple welcomed son Arthur, followed by daughter Dorothy. In 2015, the couple swapped their two-bed home in East London for the dilapidated 45-room chateau which cost them just £280,000. The same year, the happy couple tied the knot at the Grand Pad and shared their special day with their old pals Channel 4 before the network cut ties with the couple. Since then, the pair have been branded spiky, volatile, and a nightmare to work with. It's also been mooted Channel 4's culling of the hit show was convenient given the series, which has been on screen for seven years and sparked numerous spin-offs, had run its course. A source said, Dick and Angel come across on screen as the most gorgeous and lovely couple, literally like butter wouldn't melt, but they are not like that off-screen. It's a full-on show, production is with them at the chateau for weeks so they can't hide their real characters, they can't turn it on for two hours of recording and then not go back to their real persona.
Dick and Angel have also previously been accused of bullying by sources close to Spark Media. Dick was accused of pushing one crew member around a room and threatening to throw another out the effing window while brandishing a hammer. Both were also said to have sworn at TV staff. Meanwhile, the show apparently hemorrhaged producer directors during the first four series, as it was claimed three out of six left prematurely following rows. Dick and Angel categorically denied the accusations. In testimony via their representative at the time, the couple emphasized the warm atmosphere among the team, but also their long-held, high professional standards, which they say have helped bring their chateau fantasy to successful fruition. Their representative said production members associated with the couple over many years found working with our clients at the chateau is a lovely experience. They also made accusations of their own of outrageous behavior among the Sparks production team. At the time, Channel 4 denied all knowledge of the row. Channel 4 does not tolerate bullying or abusive behavior in any of its productions. Dick said at the time, it's not even worth investigating. We don't talk about it because it's not worth worrying about. An angel added, I would say that we are loving and open, what you see is what you get. If you come into our home, and it's our home, not a TV set, and maybe treat us in a certain way, then we may reciprocate. We have so many people coming through, and we always like having selfies and everything like that. There is a line, though, and if you cross it, end of. The ninth and final series aired in late 2022 but spin-off travel show Escape to the Chateau, Secret France was already in the works. The program has reportedly wrapped and is currently being edited, but Channel 4 has not yet confirmed whether it will be broadcast. Despite Escape to the Chateau officially finishing last year, Dick and Angel have announced that they will be launching a UK tour next year, leaving the Chateau behind for some time in the UK, traveling around to different locations and Angel is reportedly now looking to increase her profile with a TV gig on Strictly or I'm a Celeb, with a source saying, now she is no longer attached to Escape to the Chateau she is considering all options. She would be sure to ruffle feathers in the jungle and is not afraid of speaking her mind. Well, you can certainly say that again. Blinkerhol believes that Angel Strawbridge would be well suited to I'm a celebrity get me out of here. Deep in the heart of the jungle with all those exotic animals, we are sure she'd have a field day considering her love of taxidermy. Dick is already preparing his escape from the chateau after sneaking into Angel's craft room in the dead of night to fashion himself a macrame ladder. Better use it now Dick, before Angel is tempted to stuff you and hang your head up on the chateau wall. Please like and subscribe for more journeys through the blinker hole. For entertainment purposes only.